Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music and I also film four series here on my YouTube. And this one is all about spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. So for this video, I wrote down a little random thought that I had one day. I don't even remember when it was, but I just wrote it in my notes and I figured I'm going to film a full video on this. And what I actually wrote was that we sign up for death, but we also sign up for life. And what I mean by this is that when we choose to incarnate here and we want to experience this life, like our soul wants to incarnate into a vessel and it chooses to come here with a specific lineage, like ancestral line, specific DNA, specific race and kind of vessel and all of that stuff, we obviously sign up for the experience of death, so to speak, which is just merely energy transforming from one form into another. But what I feel like sometimes we forget is that not only do we sign up for death, but we also sign up for life, meaning we sign up to actually live and to actually enjoy it and to actually experience it. Because sometimes you can kind of fall in the trap of feeling like, obviously life is difficult, which we know. And sometimes you can f get kind of stuck in how difficult it is and how many like, even when there's nothing wrong with your life, you're obviously, especially if you're on the spiritual path and on the self-awareness path, like uncovering the truth about yourself and uncovering your belief system and like your insecurities and where you fucked up in the past and stuff like that can be really painful and uncomfortable and scary and confusing and just so many other emotions that sometimes we kind of get consumed by it. And we forget that we're actually here to live, like we're actually here to enjoy it. And obviously there's gonna be hard times and there's gonna be days when you feel low and you feel sad or you don't wanna do anything and you just wanna like curl up in bed all day, you know? And then there'll be other days for other people where like they literally struggle to put food on the table. So I know that the, this plane of existence can be shit. <laughs> to be honest but at the same time it can also be incredible even in like the most little simple moments like laughing with your family or like watching a funny video online you know like sometimes I sit on um YouTube and there's like funny things on there or on TikTok and there's funny things on there and one time actually weird story but I came across a video on TikTok no, it was on Twitter actually. And it was like a video of cats behaving really crazily and just running around and being silly. And I literally found myself hysterically laughing, even though it wasn't that funny, but I was just like hysterically laughing. And in that moment, I kind of realized like, oh my God, I don't actually laugh like this very often, which is so sad. <laughs> and I feel like it's not because I'm not enjoying my life, but it's because I don't always allow myself. Sometimes we don't let ourselves just enjoy the simple silly things you know like it can feel like no it has to be serious I have to study the occult and I have to like do my shadow work and I have to better my life and I need to manifest my goals and create my dreams and all of this stuff but like it's about vibrational alignment that's what attracts your reality that's what creates it and everything so surely laughter and joy and love and like letting your inner child come out to play is actually so important because that's what helps raise your vibration you know and it helps you kind of almost process the negative sometimes like you know how sometimes when you're like pissed off and then somebody cracks a joke just to make you laugh and make you stop being pissed off you know like it's that kind of thing when you let your inner child come out authentically and you just go about and be a bit carefree and just a bit silly and not take everything so seriously because a lot of it is very serious and a lot of it is very difficult and it's good to take those things seriously and to take your shadow work seriously you know that's an incredible thing but I feel like we need to remember to play a little and to live a little and to have a little fun and even when we're surrounded by people that don't understand, that aren't on the same path as you, that aren't doing what you're doing, even when you're in situations like that, sometimes being around them and just hearing the dumb things that they talk about and like hearing the silliness and the joking around, sometimes that's actually a benefit and maybe that's the reason why you're around them still right now because you need to be able to access your inner child and 
I feel like it's very easy to let go of that when you're really focused on metaphysics and on all of these other things and just trying to, you know, like when you take things seriously and you want to transform your life, it's an incredible thing. But don't forget to play. Don't forget to be silly. Don't forget to just, you know, like go and run in the rain or something. Just do something that's going to bring you some joy because at the end of the day, what is it all for if you're just miserable? Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you could be studying incredible things. You could be learning magic and rituals and meditation and really figuring out how to connect with source and how to connect with your ancestors and how to bring things into existence, how to change a negative circumstance. Like all of those things are incredible things. But what's it all for if you're not actually enjoying each moment? You know, like what's it for if when you get that thing, you're still serious and you're still not laughing and you're still not enjoying it and having fun, then it's just kind of for no real purpose other than just to transform something. But then if it doesn't make you feel good, then what's the point? Do you know what I mean? I hope this was making sense. But yeah, I just wanted to share this little message with you and I hope it resonates. Thank you so, so much for listening on the podcast apps as well as on YouTube. I really appreciate you. Definitely check out the description box below for all links to my music, my phone number, my social media, my jewellery brand and one-to-one sessions with me if you would like to book a one-to-one session and I will see you in the next episode. Bye. It's always been my-